after a few months, I'm back in my car to talk about a topic that makes me even angrier than Brexit, which is pseudosciences. This is Monterey, and this is my car rant! <laughs> So since I was a kid, I have been always interested in science and I have always thought that is the reason, uh, the, the logical reasoning, the scientific process that makes us different than animals. It is the ability of seeing a lightning and, and thinking that is a current of electrons and not some god throwing rays from the sky to us. I'm not going to enter into a deba debate ab about what is science. That is difficult to define and it can like be like a series of episodes. But what is not difficult to define is what it is not science. And in the last 40 years, there's been like an explosion, explosion of like pseudosciences. Like things that look like science-y, huh? that have like fancy names. Yeah, but in the end, they're like just horoscopes or just all astrology. And I repeat, astrology with an L, like lambda, not, not astronomy. It's a real science, probably the, the oldest one. So, in the old times, at least you have the... In the in, in, so, in the old times, at least in the Western societies, you have the horoscope, you have, um, well... You, you have these healers things in the small towns and, and and I think that was it then obviously because the globalization the globalization we imported concepts from the from the east where they also have these like traditional I like to call them traditional sciences or like folkloric or folk sciences I think folk sciences is a nice thing if you type pseudosciences and have a look at Wikipedia most of them at least have something in common it's just fancy names. Yeah. It's, no, no one is like, it's called like Treaty A, Treaty B. It's like reflexology, phrenology. Even though it's not a treaty and no one has written something serious in, in their life. For instance, phrenology. It, it's trying to measure your like, cranium and, and just having some information about how the brain it is. I mean, that is so racist. So racist that it should be forbidden. Or, or just numerology, like you think the Kabbalah, the power of the numbers. Why? I mean, it's just so ridiculous. Because, you know, the amount of times number 12 or number 7 figures in, on a text depends on the base you're counting on. So if, instead of like, um, instead of like five fingers, we only have one, two by hand, we will be counting in base four. So you, we only have zero, one, two, and three. And the universe will be exactly the same. And you will only have one, two, zero, one, two, and three. And nothing changes. You have the same Newton's law. You have the same uh, cosmology. You have the same relativity, the same chemistry. The atoms are going to be the same. But one zero, it won't mean 10, it, won't be, it will mean 4! But no, we just do this. And it, it, it's just a bingo thing. It's just a bingo thing. Oh, let's count how many times 5 appears in whatever. Well, it depends on your base, moron! Horoscope. That's an old one. I'm, I'm surprised that it's still there. Horoscope. So, depending on where the sun was, in the moment you were born, you will have the same future as all the individuals that were born in that moment of the year. That is so lame. That is so lame. What has to do the position of the sun with the moment you are born? And in modern words, sometimes you're born artificially in the sense that they, they, they cause you, they cause your mom uh, to go into labor. Still people believe in horoscope. Still people pay large sums of money to people that say that uh, they are able to see the future. There is this case in Spain called 
she was called Aramis Fuster and she was supposed to be the psychic of the stars and 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 uh, of course they cannot foresee you know the lottery numbers or things like that because they cannot see like very concrete things they need to see the, you know the energy the, the, the whatever and, and I will get into the energy later but uh, mm, but you know now 20 years ago she was very famous she made a lot of money and now she's broke now she's even selling pictures of herself naked to get money so she was super good she was like you know a psychic and she couldn't even foresee that she was going to end up, up without money and yes they always talk about energy and and they made use you know of the equation of e energy is equal to the mass to the square of the speed of light um, or just basically energy if it, it's equal to the mass uh, with the correct units but they always use that because energy is flowing, energy, energy transforms and but you know what energy I can measure energy yeah I can measure it we have 25 centuries of science I repeat 25 centuries of science and we are still just thinking that the lining is something that Zeus is sending us because we've been like naughty really really I'm going to end this episode with one of my favorite pseudoscientists. I know that for, for those of you that are not in Spain, he means nothing, but I'm going to end up um, with Carlos Jesus. Carlos Jesus is, was supposed to be a priest, somehow a priest, not a Catholic priest, nothing, nothing, nothing official. So, and extraterrestrials from the, from the planet Raticulin came Raticulin, which is in Ganymedes, I don't know where that exactly, came to Earth and they just put the sign of the cross on our uh, on our head and when Jesus came back, only those who have the cross are going to be saved. Also able to just convert himself into a different person by doing... Choo, choo, choo. So here is a little bit of my favorite pseudoscientist and I'm using this because he is like a, he's an adorable character. I mean, he's like a little bit... You know, but it's like, why do we laugh um, with this guy? Why do we think that this guy is totally crazy? And then we go to, you know, all these other people. And it's like, what, what is really the difference? What is really the difference? And I leave it here. Thank you for watching. See you guys next week. Bye bye. <laughs> ¿Quién es Micael? Micael es el extraterrestre. Ah, el otro yo de... Claro. El de los poderes. Bendito féctodo. En el nombre de Yahvé, de Jesús y de María. Vamos a ver. Estos hermanos, a ver, ¿qué es lo que desean? Al mundo vendrán, dentro de poco, 13 millones de naves de la, una confederación intergaláctica. ¿Ganímedes? De Ganímedes. De constelación Orión, de Raticulí, de Alfa, de Beta. Todo esto se está preparando ya. Lo está preparando Antarcharán. Entonces, yo simplemente estoy marcando en la frente, como Cristo me dijo, a los siervos de Dios. Entonces yo vine aquí, yo le marco en la frente. Esta señal que yo le marque en la frente, cuando venga el arrebatamiento a esa persona, se le pondrá una cruz plateada. Entonces la nave cuando se ponga arriba echar un halo de luz como aquí ahora mismo estas piernas las están elevando de un platillo volante que hay a 45.000 kilómetros de altura.